continuing on the RH thing. So um, I originally had on these notes the other day. Uh, he's been super silent lately, not been on Twitter, people freaking out, all that stuff, not really anything new. Um, and then out of the blue, I actually texted you uh, yesterday morning, this three hour stream, three and a half hour stream that uh, if you're into hex, you've probably seen parts of now um, with a guy uh, named Greg. Um, guy named it, Greg that has a token um, that I forget what it's called, but Intercoin, I think, and it's mm. on his channel. Um, yeah, and it was just a, kind of a very bland thumbnail. I almost didn't even think it was real. I just saw this, like you know, it was just like a red thumbnail, and said like Richard Hart talks about what's to come or something. And yeah. I'm like, is this real? Is this recent? I don't know this person. I start watching it and I check it out and it's, you know, normal Richard Hart stick. And these two guys are arguing about stuff. And then there's some cool nuggets here and there. And um, yeah, I don't know when this was recorded. So I don't know if you can shine light on this. There's some other angles I want to talk about with this too. But when do you think this was recorded? And if he did, you know, I don't care about timelines as much. And I'm sure other people are getting sick of it. But um, mm. Richard, when pressed, was like, well, you know, I would think weeks until the test net's public, maybe three weeks, maybe a week, maybe a couple of weeks, whatever. Um, but again, we don't know when this is recorded. Um, yes, we do. Oh, we do? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to defer to you. So, yeah, when is this from? When did this happen? So, it was the, if you caught it, uh, during the live stream, he had mm -hmm. mentioned that... Um, it was the day that that weird Russian exchange got hacked, which I or got taken down mm. or whatever it was. Yeah, um, because Bitslato. they did mention it. Bitslato, yes. Uh, couldn't even remember the name. That's how <laughs> unimportant it was. But yeah. that was ten days ago. Um, so the stream was from about ten days ago, nine or ten, depending on. Um, I'm pretty sure it was ten. So if that's the case, and he said three weeks, you know. Um, then you know we're still about a week and a half out from what he was thinking and that kind of lines up to some of his tweets that were going out today um about the progress of the the chain sinking and all of that good stuff so mm -hmm. right I, I, go ahead let, let, let me ask you this okay <clears throat> so um our friend trevon um ha, has been i'm not gonna get too far into it but like kind of just calling out why Richard was on with this guy on this channel who seemingly, you know, I don't know if you want to say that he's shilling what, what his token is. I don't know anything about it, really. It is curious to me, though, without getting into that, because I don't really care about it as much. But it is curious to me. And I like hearing the updates from Richard and everything and, you know, his, his thoughts on crypto and stuff. But where... um some of the times that he gets hooked up with an interview, like why was he on this channel? It just seems weird to me. Like um, why not like some other publication or something like that? Um, I, I had, again, neither of us knew of this guy. Um, Never heard. I, of I, I don't know anything about the, the token or anything. I'm not that interested. Obviously he, <laughs> you know, had, and I'm not, I mean, I have a thousand subscribers, but he had like seven or 800 subscribers. And it's like, I, what is this? I don't know. That's why I was confused. I thought maybe it was like old. I didn't know when this thing was from. So right. what do you think about like the venue here? Like what? It, it was why weird. This? It yeah. was weird. Um, there was so much gaslighting going on by that guy as well. I felt um, he's one of those. Well, I don't even care. We don't need to talk about myself, but here's my coin. Um, and I don't yeah, care right. about, <clears throat> I don't care about being popular, but here's me with all these people. Um, it was just, yeah. man, it was strange. And I don't know. Like, it it was just weird seeing um, him interview Richard, and he would bring up these points and these old fan fiction, just garbage stuff that Richard had to keep defending. And, you know, I hate, I hate it when people try to do that. They throw stuff in there. Um, I, who knows what the... Um, the premise was when they first talked um, about it, right. you know, because he did open up with, I'm, I'm a big fan of yours, Richard, and uh, I, I like what you're doing, and I like Hex. And and then he goes on to say, well, here, what about this, the spam stuff? And, um, and then he goes to show his businesses from Florida. And uh, 
I, it was just <laughs> strange, man. I, yeah, I, it, it kind of just threw me off. Like I said, I, I there was so much gaslighting done by him. So I'm not really sure what his. Um, I almost felt like he was trying to have an aha moment to catch him in something to say, well, this is why I think my coin's better. And maybe he didn't, Richard maybe didn't even know the guy had a coin. I don't know. Um, Mm -hmm. But yeah, Richard's not one to be on somebody's stream if they're going to shill their product. Um, Right. The thing is, though, it's not in any kind of competition to Hex. Um, or pulse chain or or any of that um and he brought up a lot of good points that you know the stuff that you're doing um isn't really that profitable anyway so i'm not sure where you're going with it so i yeah. i don't know that was my take it was just really strange um but as always we did get some nice little nuggets out of it if you paid attention and and watched it the whole way through yeah, there was that the last thing I'll say about that guy. There was that funny moment where like he was trying to demonstrate something about like ETH fees or something and went to Uniswap and he was like, well, you know, okay, I'll plug ETH in here and I'm going to swap it out. Oh, hell, we'll just say for Intercoin, for example. <laughs> like as if there was an accident that he used his own token <clears throat> right. on uh, on the stream. Um, just kind of weird. But uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean... It, I, net positive. I mean, I was happy to see something from Richard and, uh, you know, they did kind of calm down and there wasn't as much, you know, debating combative stuff later on. And like to Richard's credit, like even though he was pissed at some of the things that the guy was saying and was accusatory and acting as if, you know, um, there was credence to some of, uh, you know, what the SEC was asking about, you know, and, and people getting letters and stuff acting as if they've been paid and everything. Richard, understandably getting angry, when well, yeah. this guy's going into that because it's like you know why is it so hard to believe um that these people you know hex is a product that's enriched to the lives of a lot of these people and they talk about it you yeah. know because of that. oh and that was a whole new fan fiction there that whole um i know why you created the daughter addresses i know you did it to pay the the that was like whoa that came yeah. out of nowhere um, and you can see on chain that none of them have ever moved. Right. So, you know, if you're going to pay somebody to promote something, a lot of times those people will spend that money. Um, whether you have some, I don't know, he said something, well, you made an agreement with them to stake it forever or, or something along those lines. That was just a really, really weird comment that I was like, man, he's no foundation whatsoever. Um, now he's just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. I, it felt like Richard owed the guy something. And that's why, you know, it just was yeah. odd that I, I so much would prefer, and maybe you have more insight into why he isn't doing this as much. Now you walk, I'm not as involved as you are. But like, man, when he would just do his solo streams every now and then. Uh, oh, he's not home. He's not home. Oh, he's okay. traveling. Right. So he's not near his studio. He's not where... The camera quality is good. The sound's good. Um, he doesn't have all that setup, so yeah, that's why he hasn't been doing those type of streams. He's he's been traveling a lot, whether he's well, working I do. on the museum or what. Are, um, you know, I, I I don't know. That's but that's why he's not doing that. I do definitely prefer those, but I mean, like to to yeah. one thing I'll say to his credit, I mean, and he was kind of ironically tweeting about this today, but he was retweeting some old tweets about like how tweeting is so pointless and to <laughs> instead be working. And I think he was trying to just get the message across, like here, hey people, this is why I'm not on here all day every day because this is something you and I hypothesized about. It's like, hey, maybe the quiet is good. Like, it might mean that we are really close to something significant. And, yeah. you know, it, it, it's interesting with him being a guy that has been hesitant to give out tons of details. And I do understand why he's really bending that policy. And he is giving out details and sending screenshots like he did again today. And yep. even if people don't totally understand it, it's like, hey, cool. A blockchain I care about is having updates, you know. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm a fan of us at least hearing something. So. Yeah, I like um, to hear things every once in a while too. It just lets us know he's out there and he's he's um you know, he's working. Yeah. 